so the uh, point is working principle is way beyond and uh, it has same thing in all the languages okay so you you take it any language there is a concept called as pointers but in c and c plus plus they are executing it but in java and python they are not it is it is that yeah. so let's stick to this one right so the pointers concept will teach you in such a way that you will understand it aram you will understand it and trust me honest whoever it is in your college you can teach this to anyone maybe like seniors junior faculties that is everything so in that level we will be going on to it right before teaching before you know like before understanding the pointers i will teach you like a few things few few points which i need to know about it okay the only one concept which you need to know about is are these things you need to know about it int a equals to 10 or else i equals to 10 i will tell it and this line you know about it and this is why my favorite line comes across this this line you know most you know like most interestingly you know about this line I uh, most most depth know you, you you know this line right so your integer will go it will reserve four bytes of memory and uh, you know like it has four bytes of memory it has an initial address i cannot remember this initial address i have a variable called as i right and what are the data i'm storing it here it is 10 no problem with that and trust me honest when i tell i when i tell i right when i tell i what is the output i will get it guess 10 i will get it now my question is i want to get the address of i can i get the address of i guess if i want to get the address of i what i will do it guess anyone 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 everyone tell e guys soon 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 one message e, e, e please 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 go for it go for it go for it go for it ah that's really nice okay now tell me if i if i want to get the address of i what is the output what what, what should be my code uh, what should, what should i write it i want the address of i content of i you just tell it i you get the content of i i want to get the address of i what should i do it uh, that is a format specifier percentage p is a format specifier that's exactly correct so to display the output uh, in, on the monitor uh, in which format you will be displaying the addresses percentage p that's absolutely correct but how do you get the address for example 10 you need to get it right you'll use a special symbol called as ambassade this ambassade will get the address gets the address right in front of the variable you will use it what guess ambassade Okay, this is very important. Person ambassent i in print in front of this one, you'll use a special symbol for us ambassent, and this will get you the address. According to this block diagram, I'm assuming that address is thousand. I'm assuming it. Okay, why? Because the address size will be different, guys. Okay, the address size will be like uh, different, address will be different. That's okay, no problem. Okay, so now I'll come here, I'll come here, I'll come here, I'll come here, and I will do this. I'll go for the mountain city, right? Or for example, I will we'll need we will discuss after this. Int i is equal to 10. I will tell it, right? I will tell something like print i will tell us, and I will tell us i. So if I tell us i, I will get the content of the data, right? So content of the data. So percentage i, what is this? I am getting it. If I want to get the address of i, I will just send us the ampersand i and the format specifier which I will be using for the addresses percentage p. You don't have to worry about the address. What what is the addresses? The address will be in this big hexadecimal number. So if you want to see the address of i, this is what the address of i is. All right? And I told you zero x indicates what hexadecimal, and this is what the address is. I cannot remember it. That's the reason I have the variable i to hold that address. Understood this concept, guys? Understood this? Understood this? Understood this? So much you got it. Okay. Now. So uh, preferably, I'll be telling a few things for you, few points I'll be telling you whenever it comes to the address, okay? To get the address, to get a address, okay, to ad get the address, you'll use it Amazon. Size of address, to print that, to display the address, okay, the format specifier will be what? Percentage P will be the format specifier, will be format specifier, I will tell it, FS. And, uh, and, and, and the size of the address, okay, size of the address will depend. It depends upon two bytes, four bytes, and eight bytes. 16 bit compiler, 32 bit compiler, 64 bit compiler. It depends, it differs. We don't want to care about it, not to worry about it. All right? And one more thing is, uh, what is that? <laughs> to get an address, that says no problem, no problem. So much we, we can go for it, right? Now, my question is, guys, okay, now my question is, okay. I want to save the address of one variable. This variable, I want to store it. 
okay what is the address here tau set we'll do the reverse engineering here now okay we'll do the reverse engineering now so here i'll show the thousand I, this thousand will occupy some space it might be like two bytes it might be four bytes it might be eight bytes i don't literally care about it now okay it is occupying some space right right now i'm just imagining it will occupy some space xyz space is occupying it when it's occupying some space it is having some initial address let me assume the initial address is 2000 can you remember this address yes i cannot remember this address that's the reason i'll tell it as like d i will tell it understand this carefully what i have done is i have i have copied this address and i'm storing this address over here in one, one variable it occupies some space that space it might be two bytes four bytes or eight bytes i don't know about it when it is occupying some space it has some initial address let me assume the initial address is 2000 can i remember this initial address i cannot remember this initial address that's the reason i'm telling it has it has an initial address which holds the initial address so much you got it guys now for this one i want to write a program to achieve this block i want to write a program tell me guys how i can write a program for this one tell me tell me tell me tell me tell me tell me what i wanted here is what i wanted here address of i how do i get address of i you know this just tell me whatever the question i am asking it answer for that how do i get thousand how do i get 10 by just telling i how do i get thousand if i want to get thousand how do i get this thousand how do i get thousand yes address of i look on here address of i i'll get it address of i is only what thousand the address i'll get it to whom i'm giving to to whom, whom i'm giving to <coughs> to whom i'm giving this address of i Look, 10 I'm giving to I. Look at here, 10 I'm giving to I. This thousand address of I, I'm giving to whom? To whom I'm giving it? D. I will assign this, I will assign this thousand. Please, D, you take care about this. I'm giving to D. Now look at your case. In this, in this, in this, in this, in this memory, I'm telling it it is an integer type of data. Now tell me, guys, in this block of memory what kind of data it is guess i want to tell that which kind of data i have it here in this in this particular block what kind of data i have it is what kind of data i have it integer whether this one is an integer case this is not an integer type guys this is not the integer type is a hexadecimal right is an address type right integer is different address is different trust me honest on this it is not a character also guys so you don't know sir address in a print and okay you said address in a band character and they said it is not character also guys floating point on chance sale law double r one chance sale law right double and float this can't be at all right integer i'm telling you it is not it is not an integer type this is integer type data but this is not an integer type, type data it is an address type of data Tell you guys what is the data type I'll be using it. I want to tell in this container there is there will be some string mm -hmm. character LL. So you have only four type of data, five type of data. So it is not matching with any of the data. Right? It is not matching any of the data now. What I need to write it over there. Right? Same thing, guys. Dennis Ritchie is also was you know scratching their head. Oh, oh, I have an address now. I can't have a I don't know the data type now. I didn't design the data type at all. At that time, they came with a special symbol called a star. Yes. They came with a special symbol called a star. I'll tell you what is this void is helping for. Okay, later I will tell you. In near future, I'll tell you. So you cannot use any of the data type. They use they came with a what is that? Star. Now star denotes what? Star to denote to denote address. This is to get the address. To denote the address, I'll be using what? A special symbol called a star. Okay, in this container, it is containing what star? It is containing address. To denote that, I'll be using what a special symbol called as what star is. Always remember it. I'll repeat this. I later I'll repeat this. Okay, this will exactly act like data type. What is the data type feature? It will reserve the memory and near future. What is the operation I'm gonna be doing? It is this is an address type and this is pointing to some memory base. That is what it is acting in. You know, Statue of Liberty, same thing like that. It is pointing to somewhere. I hear also the star is also pointing to some memory location. Okay, now from here, how many bytes I want to read it, guys? From here, how many bytes I want to read it here? From here, how many bytes I want to read it here? How many bytes I want to read it? I want to read it four bytes. 
who will tell me that i want to read four bytes that's the reason i'll tell us like integer here and i'll tell us semicolon so this is how i gonna be writing this one do you want to repeat this case shall we repeat this shall we repeat this one more time one more time shall we repeat this case s s s s s s s s s yes guys one more time shall we repeat this okay we'll repeat this one more time okay we'll repeat this one more time wait a second i'll erase this neatly one more time we can repeat this again one more time okay because this is very very important if you don't understand this entire c language will not understand this and that is very 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 important concept guys right <clears throat> now look out here what i want to save it guys i want to save this thousand in one more mem one memory i'll take this thousand I will save it in one memory. This will occupy some data. It might be two, it might be four, it might be eight. Any any kind of data it will access it. But the important thing is for us is it has an initial address. Let me assume the initial address of this one is 2000. I'm assuming this address. Some random address I'm assuming. Can I remember this initial address, guys? I cannot remember this initial address. What I'll give a case, I'll give a beautiful name called as D case. I'll give a beautiful name called as D. For the initial address, I'll give a beautiful name called as what? D. Now what I'm gonna do it, guys? What are, we, what are we gonna do it? I want to write the reverse engineering process for this block. I want to achieve it. How do I achieve this one? So I will tell you something like this. I'm storing here what is thousand? Thousand. What is this thousand? From where I get this thousand? It is nothing but address of D, right? This is nothing but what address of D. So I'll tell it as like address of D. Address of D for whom I'm I'll be giving it, guys. Uh, uh not address of D. What is this? Address of I, right? So what is this? Address of I. Right, it is nothing but what address of i for whom I am giving this address of i. Address of i is nothing but thousand. I'll get it. You know this address of i to whom I am giving to. I am giving to I'm assigning to d. What is the content you have? It is you have an address type, you don't have any data type here, right? So you don't have any, it is not an integer type, it is not a character type, it is not a float type, it is not a double type, it's not a, even a void type. It is an address type, you don't have a data type at that time. They came up with a special symbol called as what star. I'll be denoting. Whatever the content you have it here, it's the address type. That's the reason I'll tell that like what star. The star will exactly act like a data type. It will reserve the memory and it will tell that okay, this since it is an address, it is pointing to some memory address. After coming to here, it has an option whether to read one byte, whether to read four bytes, whether to read, not to read any byte. Right? If I want to read four bytes, it will tell integer here. If I read, if I want to read only one byte, I will tell like character. If I don't want to read anything, I will tell like white type. I can use it any of the time. All right, it has a beautiful feature of this. I will, I will be looking onto this. And I will tell us end of the statement. I will tell us like what semicolon. Mansilayo. Mansilayo, guys. Right now, coming to here, guys. If I tell it as like D, what is the output, guys? Tell me, guys. You tell me. If I tell it as D, what is the output? What's the output? What's the output? Thousand. The content of D, right? The thousand. Absolutely right. If I tell us Amazon D, what is the output? If I tell address of D, what is the output? Two thousand. A D right? Okay. This numbers will be various, guys. This is just an imaginary numbers. So according to this block diagram, this is what the number is. Okay. If I tell star D, what is the output? If I tell star D, what is the output? <laughs> If I tell star D, what is the output? 10, right? So D means what it is? D means 1000. All right? 1000 is pointing to where it is? This first. Yeah. It is telling that I need to read how many bytes, guys? Four bytes. Who is telling me? This integer is telling it, not this integer. This integer is telling it. It is telling me it is a four bytes. So this is my about what? Ten. Right? This is what it is. And then, 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 this. Okay. If I tell it as star star D, guys, what is the output? Star star D. Twenty? Ten? Thousand? Look at it. Let's solve this. D means thousand, guys. D means what thousand? Thousand is pointing to where? Ten. Where this ten is pointing to, guys? Whether ten is pointing to anywhere, guys? Ten is pointing to nowhere, guys. I will get a beautiful slap here. Right? I will get a beautiful slap. That means I will get an error here. Ten is not pointing to any. Ten is not an address type. Ten is an integer type. Integer type the operations in the addition now division now it is not a pointer type it is a pointer type thousand is a pointer type but 10 is not a pointer type 10 is what integer type there is nowhere pointing to it so that's the reason i'll get a slap 
So let's look on this. Okay, let's look on this program. How does it look? Beautifully, we'll look on this program. Okay, so we'll go for here and we'll run this program. Alternate has address of D, address of sorry, address of I is given to whom, guys? Given to D. D is holding what address? I'll tell us denoted by star and I want to read four bytes from there. I'll tell like integer here. So I'll come here. I'll come here and I will tell us something like this. I'll just slash in and I'll tell us something like this here. I'll tell her like printer. Printer percentage D, I will tell it. Percentage uh, 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 percentage P, I will tell it. So I want to print the address itself, right? So I'll just tell us like what? Uh, I'll print D, right? I'll print D now here, all right? So D means what? I'll get the content. That means it should be the same as address of I itself. I'll tell us address of D it should be different, right? So if I run this program, if I run this program, look on here, guys. Am I getting this? Look on here. So this one and this one. Are we getting this? So address of i and the content of d is one of the same and the address of d is different right 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 okay so if i tell us star d if i tell like star d right so here if i tell us star d if i run this program look on here guess i'm getting it as 0x a a in the sense what 10 because it is a formal special as p so if i tell us d here i will absolutely i will get it 10. look on here i'll get it 10 here Right. If I added one more star here, if I added one more star here, right? So I'll run this program and I'll be getting it has error. Invalid type of argument even at the star. So 10 is not pointing to anywhere. Got this picture clear? Take down this, take down this, take down this. Neatly you take down this. I will have some discussion over here. No queries? Shall I go for it? Okay. Now tell me guys, what is this pointer is? What is this pointer is? A pointer is nothing but a uh, variable. It's a variable which holds the address of another variable. That's what the pointer is. Pointer is a variable which holds the address of another variable. That is called as pointers. That's it. Okay. Why it is used? What it is used? Okay. So those things I will discuss you later. Discuss with you later on too. Done. Now. I'll give you three questions, guys. Okay, you tell me the answer for that. That's more than enough for me. Okay, if I tell us like D, if I tell us like Amazon star D, and if I tell us star Amazon D, what is the output according to this block diagram? You tell me the output for this one. That's more than enough. <clears throat> That's all. Okay, look on here. Look on here. Look on. Look on. Look on here. Uh, listen up this carefully. D means you know this thousand. No problem with that, right? Here, when I when I come here and when I solve this here, okay, D means what guys here? D is nothing but what thousand? D is nothing but thousand. Thousand is pointing to where guys? Thousand is pointing to ten. Ten in the address in that thousand are right. Thousand I'll get it. Here I'll come here. D means what? D means again thousand. Thousand the address in that two thousand. Two thousand is pointing to where guys? Two thousand is pointing to thousand. Got it. So all the three answers are thousand, thousand, thousand. But here you need to know about this one, guys. Okay. So uh, when you see this one, okay, what is the conclusion? Is D Bernal this one, this one is that one, this one. That means whenever you get the Amazon and star and star and Amazon, cancel this. Okay. And the answer would be what thousand itself. Answer would be what thousand itself. Got it. You can nullify this Amazon star star Amazon together. You can nullify this. That is an easy approach. You can do it. Okay. Now coming to here, the one thing you need to remember, guys. Okay, uh, where it is ending with, what it is ending with. If it is ending with Amazon, that means it is an address type. This thousand is an address step. Address step parnala idan. Answer idan. Okay, if it is ending with star, that means it is a thousand. It is a container. Al parnala answer idan. And e thousand, e thousand, belly vetya send guys. Got it? So it has a big difference between this one and this one. Got it? So this thousand is different and this thousand is different but just you need to know you can cancel this you need to know that amazon it is ending with the uh, amazon means it is an address type and star means what it is a contain tag so we'll we'll see the execution part that means all the all the data should be same thing and we'll we'll have the execution over here so we have it uh star amazon comma amazon star d we'll have it all right so we'll just tell it as like percentage p and percentage p over here percentage p so if i run this program if i run this program i'll be having or d4 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 
uh, it's as same as what address of i itself or content of t sambhava easy ale take down this guys take down this with a neat detail you take it down just have a note whenever it comes star and ambas in star ambas in start together you cancel it but you need to know make sure that if it is ending with address it is a address type if it is ending with star it is a content type this is the only one thing which you need to know about it <clears throat> one more small twist will 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 work on it okay so this is one part of the question according to this one so one more one more part of the question is there so which i really wanted to uh, tell you tell about it okay because that that part is really important maybe like in the near future okay now my question is something like this guys here i have to tell, uh, i have to write as integer right if i tell like you know like uh, uh i can tell it as like uh, 256 or 128 i will tell it 128 itself i will tell it right and i'll i will comment this out i'll comment this out and i'll comment this out all right i'll just tell it as like this print f print f i'll just tell that percentage d and i'll tell it as uh, something like this right i'll just say star d will tell it tell me guys what is the output of this one guys Started, 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 starting. One twenty-eight, one twenty-eight, because it is an integer type. Integer type, alay, alay. So it will get it one twenty-eight. Four bytes, one twenty-eight. No problem with that. If I, I can also tell it as character. I told you, right? I can also tell it as character. When I tell character, it will read how many bytes gets? Only one byte will read it. Now tell me, guys, what is the output? Same concept. You stick to your concept, whichever I have taught you. The same ideology you need to follow it. It's really easy thing. Integer panel first four bytes it will access it. Character panel and the it will access only first one byte. When it is accessing one byte, end the problems which you face it. Right? Those problems you need to know about it. Right, so when I run this program, I'll get it what minus 128, and you exactly you know why it is minus 128. Yes, I know, guys. If it tell us 255 now, if it tell us 255, what is the answer? 255. If it tell us 255, what is the answer now? Sooner, 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 sooner. For D, I'm restricting to read only one byte, right? That is what the whole concept is. 255, it is a character type. It's a character type. So there will be something called a stus complement will happen according to D. But if I tell I, it will get it 255. No doubt in at all. Okay. For example, if I tell percent is D, uh, percent is D, and if I tell it as like comma I, if I tell it, there is no doubt at all. I will get a 255. But for star D, it is a character type. It's going here and it's only reading how many bytes? One byte. First one byte. A good Harita, right? So it is nothing but what minus one. Ale, that is what I'm telling you. This one we have already learned it, guys. We just need to implement it, right? If I has 256, if I have 256, it is giving me only one byte to read it. So that's the reason I'm telling it has 256. Zero it is. All right. For example, look on here, guys. Look on here, guys. Integer i on i is nothing but what i is nothing but 256. For two places, it is reading like this one zero 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 and zero 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 zero. All right. But address of i is copied to D and I'm restricting to character. If I restrict to character, it will only read only one byte guys. Inside this one byte, what I have it, I have it zero. If I tell us like integer, it will read it entire 32 bits. It's not that just I'm getting a clarification that it's not that here integer, you don't integer either. No, it's not like that. So if it is integer, it will read four bytes. If it is character, it will read one byte. If it is a void, it will not read anything, guys. Okay, for example, look on here, guys. When I tell void, right? When I tell void, okay, when I tell void, look on here, guys. I'm trying to read it. Okay, I'm trying to read it. What happens now? I'll get a beautiful slap telling that initialize uh, invalid use of void expression. But I can get the address, but I cannot get it what guys? I cannot get the contained, right? I cannot access the data over there. Void means restricted. You cannot read the data at all. I can get the address, but I cannot get the data. Got it? For example, I I will I will I, you know like I will uh, you know like I will relate to the normal concept. Look on here, guys. This is your home. Okay, this is your home, beautiful home. And this is what the compound you have it. And this is where the gate you have it. Right? And this is where your veranda you have it or sit out. You can tell it. Right? 
one person is coming the relatives are coming to your home right when the relatives comes what happens they they are inside the home and they are come to sofa and they can roam entire home that means you are giving the restriction them integer type of data entire boundary they can go anywhere they wanted it when they are relatives okay when they are neighbors okay when neighbors come to your home what they what they do it there is only what character they can come come to the gate and they can come and sit inside the uh, you know like in the sit out or maybe like in the sofa maybe like in the hall they won't go for the bedroom or kitchen or something like that because they are neighbors right you are giving a restriction of only one byte here you can access entire bytes four bytes here only one byte right when i tell it as void when i tell it as void it's like a stranger a completely stranger just imagine guys once he opens the gate and once he come walks into your home and once he comes inside inside will you allow him you will kick him out right that is what the things which you need to know about it right so he can come near your home right this is the road he can come near home he can access the address but he cannot access the content inside that that is what the void is for void you are completely restricting it got the whole picture guys so integer means you are telling them to access entire four bytes character means only one byte and void means zero nil okay you are not allowing him to access it but void also can access it but void also can access it but by taking a permission that permission i will tell you what it is and that permission is called as type casting i will i will tell about the type casting what is this type casting everything i want to be discussing with you so much you understood this so it's not that it's not that okay you need to write only integer type of data so you got to know what happens when you write integer or you know what happens when you get a character you got to know what happens when you get it void type right so this is thing this things which you need to know about it things are relatable guys character right so, so guys you didn't uh, some uh, anyone didn't get this concept do i want to explain it again Look here, integer means look on guys, the integer data. If I'm storing 10, right? If I'm storing 10, right, it is something like this, guys. 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Right? Since it is an integer, it is a 32 bit. 32 bit means like this. Right? Like this, it is 0, 0, 0, 0, the 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. This is called a 64 bit. 16 bit. If I want to make 32 bits, like this, it is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Uh, again 0, 0, 0, 0, and this is 0, 0, 0, 0. this is what the 32 bit is this is what the integer data looks like when you tell character okay when you tell integer star d when you tell integer star d is equals to 256 or something like this 256 in the sense like this 256 in the sense this is one and remaining everything is zero zero when you tell integer 256 it is allowing to read entire thing from here to here what is the output it is number 256 itself here only this bit is activated when you tell character star d right is equals to 256 what happens now it is only allowing us to read only eight bytes till here also we'll read it what is the value till here it is nothing but what zero itself entire data is zero that's the reason i'm getting it zero as the answer when you tell void star d when you tell void star d is equal to 256 it is not allowing even a little bit guys it is restricting over here itself or it is never it is not allowing at all because why it is or nil character is four integer is four bytes it is accessing four bytes character is one byte it is accessing one byte why it is nothing it is not allow at all you tell when you when you go to access it uh, just imagine when a stranger opens a door you will tell oh wait, wait, who are you same thing it is happening here you got this picture clear now listen up here guys listen up here the challenge is when it is a void type okay this void is a very powerful one if you ask me void star t equals to 10 or 256 whatever it is address of i you have it here right? this is very much powerful this when i tell t i will get the address no problem with that okay here it will get it whatever the, the d data is thousand it will get it. When I tell star d i will get an error here i'll get an error why because you are without a permission you are accessing the data but now in between this in between star and d i can access a permission over here i can convert it d type is what guys void star i can convert into character star if i tell character star it will it will give me what for 256 it will give me zero now i'm accessing that okay character star i'm converting from in uh, void star to character star this concept is called as what typecasting i want i can also convert into integer also 
I can also tell us int star, I can tell it, and I can read the data here. And this will give you two physics now. And this concept is called as what type testing. I write void star. I don't know when it, when it is, I don't know like which type of data it is. Okay, later on, I will I'll make it what type testing. And this concept is very much powerful. In your future, I'm gonna be using this. When I tell type testing, this is what you need to remember it. Right? According to your guys, when I tell void star, I'm telling it star here. I'm running this, I will get a beautiful slap. Right now, what I'm gonna do it because it has a restriction. Void means you are not reading anything. Now, when I when I when I do the type casting to the character star, I'll tell it like character star. So it is now it is now behaving like like this case. It is giving me to read from initial address. It is giving me to read only one byte. Okay, so if I run this program, if I run this program, the 256 will become what is zero. All right, nil. I'm getting it. That's fine. No problem. So or else I can tell it as like this here. Or, or else I can just tell it as 25 per teller. All right, 25 per teller. So this is giving me the proper data. Look on here, guys. So if I tell like percentage of P here, I have it here. I'll just have percentage D. I will tell it. And I'll tell it 256. I will tell it. I'll just have 256 or 257 only. I will tell it. I'll 257. It will access one byte of data because it is a character type. I can also convert it into this one same data into the integer type also. Whichever the user needs, he can convert it now. So once I convert an integer, it will get it to the server. You got this picture clear, guys? And this concept is called as what type casting. And this program is a very powerful one. This program is a very powerful one. Well, and this concept is called as what type casting. This concept is called as what type casting. I'm casting from one type to another type. D was, D was what type? White star type. I'm converting void star to integer star. I can convert to character star like that. This concept is called as what character. Star. Okay, I have this 2000 over here, right? So I have this 2000 over here. So when I have this 2000, I will copy this 2000 to some memory. It will occupy some memory, right? It will occupy some memory. It might be two bytes, it might be four bytes, it might be eight bytes, right, guys? This has some initial address, right? It, it, it will occupy some uh, data and it will occupy some memory. It will have in some initial address. Let me think, let me assume it, uh, the initial address is 3000. I cannot remember this initial address, right? For this one, I'll give you one name. I'll tell us like R, I will tell you one name, R, R, R random, random name. Now you tell me guys, you tell me guys how to write the program here. Tell me guys, what is the, what is the data I have it here? What is the data I have it here? 2000. How do I get 2000 over here? Tell me, tell me, tell me. How can I get this 2000 over here? But how do I get this 2000? Look around here, 1000, I've told it I'm a cent of I. So 2000, how do you tell it? Address of what? Address of D, right? If I tell us address of D, if I tell us of address of D, that is nothing but 2000. 2000, I'm giving to whom, guys? I'm giving to R. I'll give to R. I'm assigning to R. Instead of the R, what I have it, guys? I have address. Do you have data type, guys, for address? You don't have data type for the address. What you'll use it? You'll use a special symbol. This special symbol, what I'll do, it'll reserve the memory and exactly act like a data type. And this 2000 is pointed to some memory location. This 2000 is pointed to over here. Right after we come in here, how many bytes I want to access it? What is the, the type of data I want to tell it? What's the type of data? Again, it's an address type of data. Right? Again, it's an address type of data. Do you have data type for this one? No. So what I'll use it? You'll use it. What special symbol? One more spin, one more star you'll use it. And this thousand is pointing to this location. After coming to here, how many bytes I want to read it, guys? I can write it integer, I can write it character, I can write it what anything I can write it here. And to end of the statement, I'll tell us semicolon. Shall I repeat this guess? Shall I repeat this? One more time I'll repeat this. Okay, one more time I'll repeat this. Okay, now what is this? This is number 2000. 2000, how I'll get it guys? Is nothing but address of D. Address of D is the number of 2000. To whom I'm giving to? I'm giving to R. Inside R, what I'm storing it? I'm storing it address. You don't have a data type, that's the reason you'll store it what? You'll, you'll assign it by star. And this star is pointing to, this 2000 is pointing to some memory location. Over here also, again, there's an address type. Address again this address so that what I'll denote it by I'll denote it by star again and this thousand is pointing to your here and from here How many bytes I want to read it? I can read four. I can read one. I can I don't want to read it also That is also fine. So if I want to read four bytes, I'll tell us like what integer end of the statement I'll tell us same. Now you guys tell me if I tell it as R. What is the output guys? What's output? If I tell us like R What's output? 2000. All right, 2000. 
If I tell us like MS and R, what is the output? 3000. Right? If I tell us star R, what is the output? It is about 1000. Right? If I tell us star star R, what is the output? If I tell us star star R, what is the output? If I star star R, 10. Right? It is about 10. If I tell it as like star 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 R, what is the output? Star 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 R, what is the output? Error, slap or error, you can tell. And you exactly you know what is this error. And I hope you got this concept really well. And this is all, all about the font test. Take down this. And for you, I'll give you one more question. You're gonna solve this. Okay, one easy question I'll give you. I'll do R, Amazon, star, star, Amazon, star, star, Amazon. Tell me the output for this one, guys. Once you're done with that. Not bad, guys. Not bad. People are like smart over there. I look on here. Look on here. Let's let's solve this. Let's solve this. R per null in that is what is what do you mean by R? R is number 2000. All right, 2000. 2000's address in that 2000 address in that 3000. All right, 3000 is pointing to 2000 is pointing to 2000. All right, 2000 is pointing to where, guys? 1000. 2000 is pointing to where? 1000. 1000 address in that 2000. 1000 address in that 2000. Right, 2000 is pointing to where, guys? Again, 2000 is pointing to 1000. It is playing like ringa ringa roses. Right, 1000 is pointing to where, guys? Again, 1000 is pointing to where? 1000 is pointing to 10. And 10's address in the end, and the 10 address 1000. Right, I'm getting 1000. Don't you feel good, guys? Sir, why, sir, like this? Why we need to solve like this, sir? Sir, you don't know, sir. Star Amazon, what take on Star Amazon, Star Amazon, you have it together. Remaining is what, sir? R and star, sir. R per lender, sir, 2000. 2000 is pointing to where, sir? 1000. Sir, answer is this one, sir? Answer is Allah. Answer, it is ending with Amazon. That means this 1000 is address type. And trust me, honest, this one and this one, it has a more difference. Got it? Got it, got it, got it, got this. Take down this. Aram say, take it down. Either you can solve it like this or else you can solve it like this. Whichever it is easy for you, you can go for it. Done. Once you are done with this, I'll give one more question for you guys. One, those who are done with this, I'll give one more question for you. Okay, you solve this question. Today, full point is done. Ella full point is Okay, I'll just Ella is like uh, uh, R, Amazon, Amazon, Star, Amazon, Amazon, Star. Mm. Star Amazon. Tell me for, for tell me the you know like for this one yes. Tell me for this one. Ambassador of three thousand. That's absolutely right, guys. You are like genius, right? Look on here. So what happens is something like this here, right? Look on here, guys. R panel in Dana. R panel two thousand and. Alright, two thousand address in Dana, two thousand address in Dana, three thousand Dana. Three thousand every point another, three thousand, two thousand point out. This is what the two thousand is. Two thousand address in Dana, guys, two thousand address in Dana, three thousand guys. Look on your guys, three thousand day address illa, guys. Okay, two thousand day address, e two thousand day address illa, e two thousand day address in there, e to the e thousand day address in there, but e thousand day address in Dowla. So you always you don't have address address, guys. Got it? You don't have what? Address, address in Daula. Got it? Have this point. You cannot have an address at this. For example, you can, if you tell her like star, ambassador, ambassador, star. This is also an error. Why it is error? R panel and R panel 2000. 2000 is pointing to where? 2000 is pointing to where? 1000. 1000 address in the 1000 address in the 2000. Pin 2000 address in the Isn't the address in the E2000 address in E to the address illa address in the address in the for example other kind of other current now illa Alla address proof in the address proof in the right that is what it is saying so you should not be like this sir couple couple lesser cancel like you can are lesser are 2000 answer 2000 at 2000 answer when you do this it is a mistake when you when you cancel this when you cancel this okay when you nullify this and when you cancel this you need to make sure that ambient and ambition should not be together Star and star should be can be together, but Amazon and Amazon should not be together. Got it? 
Got it, guys? Got it, guys? So this is a complete uh, error. So you got to know why it is error. That's the reason I'm telling you. Uh, this is different, and this this thousand is different. Might be sounds like same, but this both are different things. Got it? Take down this. Take down this explanation. Take down this explanation. Let's go for the next level. One more level, last level. Okay, last level. Let's go for it. Of that, we'll check it out some questions and we'll solve it and we'll face, face some challenges and we can see how it is uh, gonna be doing it. Done? Okay, last one, guys. Last one. We'll go for something like this here. Look on here. So I will just erase this thing. I'll just erase the same thing. Uh, you know, like I didn't execute this program, so, right? So just I wanted to, you know, I want to represent it over here itself. So, you know, I want to complete this point is now today. Complete point is I want to complete it. Right? Uh, for example, now look on here, guys. Uh, I will tell it as now last point is okay. I'll just tell it as last point is. Uh, I want to copy this address now. Three thousand. This has some address. I'll just tell it as what four thousand. To remember this address, can I tell it as like uppercase I is? Sir, I have used I here. I have used I here. Can I use this one? Both eyes? Can I use two eyes, guys? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can we? Can we use it? Yes. Can we use this? Yes. Why? 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 Why we can use this? Why we can use this? Right. Case sensitive. Now, if I want to write this. Right. If I want to write this, how do I write this, guys? How how do I write this? How do I get this three thousand, guys? How do I get this three thousand? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. How do I get this three thousand? How do I get this three thousand, guys? Address of R. Right. I'll get it. What address of R? Address of R is given to whom, guys? I'm giving to I now. What I'm storing it here, guys? I'm storing it address. You don't have the data type here. Right. You will be using what star? What the star will tell guys this 3000 is pointed to some memory location now what is this here guys here it is 2000 again it is an address type i'll tell like star here now this is this is pointed to again to this one again it is pointing to it again it is an address again i'll tell like star here again this data is pointed to where guys it is an integer type so i'll tell us like what i'll tell like integer type over here and i'll tell like semicolon so what is this now three pointers so it is going to here it is going to here and it is going to here so like this it is Right, right, right. Now tell me, guys, if I tell us like I, what is the output here? If it is I, what is the output here? Thousand, right? I'll tell us three thousand. If it is address of I, what is the output here? If it is address of I, what is the output here? If it is address of I, four thousand, right? If I tell it as star I, what is the output here? If it is star I, what is the output here? Thousand. If it is star star I, what is the output here? If I start starting, what is the output here? Thousand here, right? If I less three star, 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 right? What is the output here? Ten. If I less star, 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 right? What is the output here? Error, slap or error, you can tell it, right? This is what the beauty of the pointers here. This completes your pointers. Isn't it easy, guys? Pointers. Right, you got to know the detailed thing about this. So why it is this one? Why it is this one? Why it is this one? So can you write up to any number of stars, guys? Now, if I tell you, tell it like any number of step of stars, you can you can go for it. And this is like you know like indirectly we have learned it something called as a linked list. This point data is pointing to this one. This data is pointing to this one. This data is pointing to this one. This is the concept of linked list. The data such as linked list. Right? Isn't it easy, guys? Some of Take down this. 